Hello boys, welcome to our computer class. Today we are going to continue our class in PowerPoint presentation. This is our first class for our chapter number 4 and we are going to do the second class. Okay, this is our textbook. So, applying team to our presentation. From here, we are going to continue. We have learned what are those tools in Adjust Group here, how to customize pictures in our presentation according to our needs and according to our choice. And this is the one, team. What are teams? I will show you in PowerPoint presentation. Uh, these are template that the one which we have already done by using this template in previous class. If you want to remind, uh, forget also, you can check it again, watch it in our YouTube class. And template and teams are almost same. So let's select a blank presentation. We have learned already learned how to take a new slide. I have already took this. Let's take title only. PowerPoint. Okay, this should be in first line. After that, uh, just for demonstration, we are just typing sample. Sample templates, sample templates by Microsoft, and here we can add some pictures. Sample template and here this is just for demonstration. I'm creating this blank slide uh, here. Design uh, applying. Let's say animation. Animation. custom animation and here slide slide transition and here the last slide we can name it as effects just name it as title only and effects effect okay let's save this one uh, for time being, let's save it in our desktop. Class 6. For time being, let's save it in our... Uh, this one, we have created a sample. Let me delete this slide. Okay, we have created 4 slides. Look here, I didn't want to use template. If I use template, I cannot get my requirement or alignment requirement or according to my needs, I didn't find any templates. So I have created my own and I have created by using a blank and different layout I have created in this slide. So what is this team? These are predefined layout predefined layout in team these are predefined layout predefined layout look here team there are different type of teams in design when you go to design there are different type of teams look here it's been loading and 
these are predefined means the pictures and alignment over here the phone style the color and styles according to the uh, selected one it's different according to our needs we are going to select according to our choice so these are team these are already designed by Microsoft and it's been given to us for our easy use so I don't have to design my blank presentation from top to bottom now after selecting this one when I select any part of the team it will be applied to all part of my presentation look here let me select this one look here when I left click on this one all my templates is been applied like this so again I will select another one look all my templates is been applied these are the text that I have entered so these are predefined one which is already designed by Microsoft and here look at the font style colors and styles and all uh, presentation slide presentation style are all predefined just we need to click and select with our choice you can select look the alignment also you can see the difference here sample template in some design it's been out here it's been out here and top part and bottom part left part here again uh, bottom right side is displayed over here in this team so this is team so in your textbook also it has been defined that these are predefined design which is predefined layouts which are designed according to a selected font and colors and style according to our presentation that suits our presentation we have to select the team different teams are there look here after selecting this team this team after selecting this one in variant also there are different type of variant different type of colors within this team look here I've selected this one darker in the middle one and pink color blue green there are different type of variant out here you can select with your needs within the team that team itself you can move your cursor over here and go to design and click on the team it will apply automatically to whole design a whole template a whole slides your whole slides if you don't want to apply to your whole slide let's say I want to apply only the this team only out here okay let me select this one okay let me select this one and I want to apply here another team so what should I do then click on that particular slide and go to the team that you want to apply let's say I have already selected this one but here I don't want to apply this team then go to this slide right click over that slide okay let's apply this one right click over that slide and look here apply to all slides and apply to selected slides here in team you can apply the team to a particular slide by selecting that slide and uh, go to the team other above that team right click over that and apply to selected slide you have to select this one 
look here the changes these are the themes that we have already applied but here on a particular slide that is slide number three i have selected a different theme that how i'm going to add that one i have already demonstrated and look here i'm going to change this one again right click over the theme and apply to selected slide okay like this so here this is another theme uh, this is another theme and this is another one like this you can apply this theme that is pre-designed which is already there in our powerpoint presentation you can design for every each and every uh, different theme in your slides you can apply all these themes differently in your different slides just select that slide right click over the required theme or the one which you want to select let's say i want to apply this theme let's say i want to apply this theme then select your slide i have already done that one and above that theme right click over that and select apply to selected slide now it will apply it automatically to our different uh, to our particular slide so here ends the theme so once you apply the theme you can modify by changing this colors phone and effect look here once you apply the theme into the theme you can apply you can change the colors phone style effects and all everything here in this variant option so you can select this one and you can do it in your own way with your according to your needs you can select the phone over here and effects so after applying the theme you can only change the uh, colors phone effects and everything according to your needs so now let's go to our animation part So I will tell you the steps from the first uh, ask question like can we apply theme from home tab these are the tab you all already know these are the ribbon so if you want to apply a theme you have to go to design tab after that after design tab you have to go to team groups these are team group this is variant group and this is customized group I've already told you this is the line which is being divided it's called this is another group and this is another group and this is another group so here in home tab also this is clipboard group this is slides group this is phone group <clears throat> like that there are different groups out here so when you want to apply team I'll ask question like that uh, can we apply teams from transition or can we apply teams from slideshow can we apply teams from insert like that so this is are not there in your textbook but I'll ask like these these are example not that I'm going to ask exactly the same as like that so we cannot apply team from other tab we have to if we want to apply team we have to go to design tab after going to design tab we have to select teams from team group from team group we are going to select team when we click single left click over the team it will apply to all the slides the one which i have already selected and if you want to apply a particular slide then i have to select that particular slide and i'm going to right click over the slide the one which i have chosen and apply to selected slide these are the steps to apply team uh, by uh, particular uh, with uh, within the particular slide or on the slide which I have already designed or which I have already typed my content. So here ends our team. Team. You have to go to team group. After that, select that team. And if you want to apply all, you have to click uh, left click to that particular team. Or if you want to apply only to that particular slide, then you have to right click over the team and select this apply to selected slide apply to all slide apply to matching slide this is not the team 
uh, this is not what I want but if you want all this then you can select this one but for timing the one which I have explained I don't want this one so I will apply only that particular slide so let me select this one apply to select a slide okay effect look here next one is these are the team that they have selected next one is powerpoint animation after that powerpoint animation what we are going to do let's see adding sound to your presentation transition effect timing we learn how to add sound and rehearse timing Printing the presentation. Okay. Now, PowerPoint animation. Animation is very much uh, important in our presentation during our slideshow presentation because it will attract or it will give attention to the audience. The one which I have prepared or which we have prepared our presentation, if we eat a simple animation like custom animation or slide transition effect it will give a little bit uh, attention to the audience or it may be student or it may be other audience so there are two type of animation in powerpoint presentation this slide transition effect and custom animation in custom animation if you want to add custom animation Okay, let me tell you the difference out here before. So these are the two. Custom animation and slide transition effect. First one is both of them are the animation that you, the effect that you are going to add in our PowerPoint presentation. First one is custom animation. I'll tell you the difference. What is the difference between the custom animation and the slide transition effect? Slide transition effect is the animation which is we are going which we are going to add between the transition of our slide. I'll tell you. I'll demonstrate. If you don't get it, if you don't grab the point, then I'll demonstrate here. This is our slide. Let's begin our slide show from the beginning. Here, this is our slide, first slide, this is our second slide, there is no effect in the slide transition. Look, here comes the end of our slide. Let's save this one. So, there is no effect in our slide transition and look at the symbol here, there is no symbol. If we add a slide transition symbol, uh, effect, then there will be a small symbol you will notice later on when we apply. So, slide transition. In slide transition effect, it's nothing. In slide transition effect, you will apply the transition animation between the slide during when you transfer from one slide number one to slide number two or slide number two to slide number three. And in custom animation, the object you have already created in your presentation, like pictures, text, graphic videos, and all, these are you can animate them. You can animate them by using this effect. And trans effect, emphasis, exit, and motion part, and all these are the different types of effect. So you can, uh, in in trans effect, example, this object is going to enter into our presentation like appearance. Where there are different type of uh, example you can see, and I'll show you. And in emphasis, it will highlight the object, and in order to draw attention to the audience, it will highlight the object. You can you see the difference. Uh, there are different examples out here. And exit effect will exit from our presentation uh, with this ed exit animation. In this category, there are different type of examples also. Not uh, there are more than this. And motion part it will animate and move according to our path by a user created path or the one which they have already there in the uh, uh, this one motion part already there in the system. So according to it, it will move to a particular path. That path may be user created or a predefined one. So 
these are the effect category we are going to add in our object so let me explain this one here what are the objects and what are the slight transition effect if you want to add the slight transition effect that between the slight transition you can add here let's select there are different type of type of slight transition effect select that slide first and you can select the slide transition by clicking left click over that slide like this look at the difference here there is no symbol out here before look here there is no symbol out here in, between, in this three slide so that means that we didn't apply any slide transition effect in this three slide and here we have applied a slide transition that is random bar like this you can select a particular slide and if you want to apply it all to the all slide you can right click over here or apply to all after selecting this one after selecting this one you can apply to all and this effect option according to the transition that we choose from here transition group you can select the different effect available here it may be vertically or it may be horizontally so according to uh, according to the effect it's a different reveal so look here smooth from left smooth from right according to the transition there are different effect and you can choose the timing i will tell you the timing later on after this so let's add here in slide number two i have changed that the first one in reveal and uh, let's select the first one a second cut it's very simple let me remove that one split okay like this it'll split in fact if you want to split horizontally vertically horizontal out vertical in in or out you can choose Whatever you want after selecting the split transition uh, split transition effect uh, you can select the effect different effect available here in our effect option after that in slide number three also okay let me show the difference okay this is the reveal part the first one that we have selected this is the next one here we didn't apply anything so that's why there is no effect in this third and fourth slide so select the slide and after that go to transition effect and you can select from here any one which you have like let's select this one let's see what is the difference so effect option hexagon from left hexagon from top right bottom left corner whatever you want choose it from diamond from right want to choose hexagon or hexagon from bottom okay let me select the last one that is fourth okay cross there is no effect in cross option wind curtain wind will blow it away Fall over flash. So, according to your needs, you can choose any one of your effect option from right picture. Now, you can select this any of your choice. You can see the difference or different option available here. There are different slide transition, and you can choose. So I have selected four effect. I've already applied to my four slides. Let me save this one and let's see the different slide show and begin or slide show from the beginning. I'll tell you the difference out here later on. Let's see the first one. This is the reveal one which we have applied until and unless if I click it will not change my slide. So this is presentation. We have started presentation about PowerPoint. Uh, the speaker will speak about PowerPoint, uh, the topic over here. Next, after clicking, you'll get a second slide.
after that he will speak again so the thing is when we are going to use this powerpoint if we are going to i have already told you i think if you are going to give a presentation to the audience or about a project in our school so when your teacher told you to prepare a presentation about your topic about your science project you have to prepare your presentation and you have to give in front of your teacher about your project this is my project and this is uh, so you have to prepare according to your uh, you have to add pictures about your project over here and you have to explain about your project like that uh, when you start your presentation it will come like this and you have to speak about your topic about the topic next i'll click this is the transition effect that we have added in slide number three and the last one is this is the last slide slide number four that we have added so with this effect and all this transition effect according to your needs you can select it from here this is transition to this effect when you want to add this slide transition you have to go to transition tab and you have to select from here if you want to see the preview you can see this one like this so there are different options i'll not see i'll not click and see all you can see it if you have laptop or computer at home you can see it at home or if you then have also no problem you can check it out later on at school so the next one is custom animation so next animation is custom animation let me add some pictures over here Let me add the picture over here. Desktop, what is This is custom animation picture. Insert picture. Desktop. So, this is slide transition picture. So, we have added two picture. Here we have already applied, we have seen slide transition effect in our slides, the transition between the uh, slides. These are the animation which we have added when we transfer from first slide to another slide, it will apply animation between the transition of the slide. And this custom animation, the one which we have already learned about entrance and faces, exit and motion part and all. This is the animation which we are going to add in the particular object here. It may be text or it may be picture. It may be any object like text, picture, graphic, videos and etc. The one which we have added in our presentation. But here in our presentation, we have added only text and pictures. So let's try adding in the first slide. Let's select this text. and if we don't select the object or it may object may like text picture or it may be graphic or it may be video if I don't select then this animation look here it's in faded color we cannot select it one so when we select the text look here we can now we can add the animation effect so this is the entrance effect this is the emphasis effect the highlighted one these are the exit effect and random more path when you scroll down these are the motion path you can create your own motion path these are the group the one which you have seen in our textbook okay i'll show you these are 
the these are the options look here I'll show you here and keep it side by side animation look the entrance emphasis exit and motion part this is the four option which I have, they have given here in your textbook now let's learn this one by applying one of the object here that is powerpoint text object which we have created in the first line for applying this one select the object like this the one which i have selected when you select the object it will highlight like this and you can select any of the option here available so let's try um, this entrance effect Let's try this uh, bounce. The bounce and enter into our presentation. Let's select the next slide. Let's select this object and let's select another one. Wave. Okay, we have already applied. Look here, first one. This. Let's select this object, the second object into our next uh, second uh, second slide. Okay, let me select object color. Look here, the change in color. So like this, you can apply it. according to your choice. You can select the animation from animation group, and I'm going to tell you the step. If you want to apply this. Custom animation, select the object first. Object, it may be text, picture, graphic, or video, etc. Select that object and go to that animation tab. And after that animation tab, you have to go to the animation group. After that animation tab, you have to go to this animation group and you have to select your choice from here. Maybe entrance, it may be from emphasis, it may be from exit, or it may be from motion path. And after selecting one of the effect and you can change the effect option also uh, I have already changed this color object color you can select uh, any color you want maybe red look here change in red so it may be any effect select that effect and you can change the effect option the one which you have done in transition effect also so like this you can add custom animation in our presentation here let me add here in presentation i'll select this animation after that i'll select this one let me select uh, from now let me select from exit wheel okay it'll exit from our uh, presentation now let me select this one this object after that uh, motion path arc okay again this object same motion path okay they have drawn the part also look here and select this object after that split and split effect also you can change uh, which type of split you want to do uh, look here in next object I'll apply this wipe save effect option I'll select here anyone diamond shape plus shape or box shape diamond shape we we'll enter in diamond shape so after applying this one I'll, effect, I'll uh, apply the last one that is effect last light and let me select bold reveal effect option as one okay let's see from the first so here comes the our uh, first slide this is the effect that we have add in this object that is powerpoint that is text object second slide after applying after seeing that uh, slide transition effect this is the effect, custom effect that we have added in this object. 
this is the custom effect that we have added in this object yeah, next slide third slide let's see the changes this is the effect exit effect it will exit from our presentation this is the effect that we have added until and unless if I click the left button of my mouse it will not come this is the entrance effect it will enter into our presentation like this entrance effect and this is the transition effect that we have added in the last slide and this is the effect cannot see that effect particularly so here comes the end of our presentation we have learned about custom animation slide transition effect in today's class so here we have learned about slide transition effect and modifying the effect transition and we can add sound duration and all we learned that one in next class and we have learned about the custom animation effect uh, how to change the effect after selecting the, uh, this animation and modifying the transition effect we will do it in next class thanks for watching